This is Neil Pitori. In this segment, I'm going to talk about the nearest neighbor approximation. And the union bound is an expression that we found that provides an upper bound for the probability of symbol error for our given constellation. The nearest neighbor approximation is going to give us an approximation that we can get to very quickly just by using the constellation and a few quick calculations. So what's the difference? The nearest neighbor approximation just looks at the minimum distance in a constellation. And n min is the number of neighbors that have that distance separating them. Let's do an example. This is figure 6.7 from the Rice book showing a four quam constellation. Symbol points are here. The decision region boundaries are shown as dashed lines. You can see that all of the three symbols, S1, S2, and S3, are a distance of A from the origin, while some other distances between neighbors, so S2 and S1 are neighbors, but that distance is larger than A. It happens to be square root of 3 times A. So D min here, because we have these two different distances, one is A and one is square root of 3A, the minimum distance is A. And the number of neighbors that have this minimum distance, don't make the mistake of saying 3. We have to go to each neighbor and count how many neighbors it has that have a distance A. Each of these three nodes on the circle have one such neighbor, so 3 times 1. Plus, the node in the middle, S0, has three neighbors with the distance A. So we have a total of six neighbors of that distance. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to write the probability of symbol error using the nearest neighbor approximation as 6 divided by 4, because m equals 4, times the q function of the square root of a squared divided by n naught. And here, the average energy per bit is 1 over log base 2 of 4 times 1 over 4 times the total energy of the four symbols. And here that's 3 times a squared. So the probability of symbol error is simplifying 3 halves times the q function, plugging in 8 thirds eb over n naught into the square root, that becomes our overall nearest neighbor approximation. So compared to the union bound, we're ignoring the distances that turn out to be larger, like in this case, the square root of 3 times a. We don't have to write any of those terms into our expression. Sure, we can go quickly, but is it accurate? Well, remember that the q function goes very quickly from 1 down to 0 as an integral of the Gaussian bell-shaped curve. So if we have some value that this q function takes, and then we think about how there's going to be some other value that of the q function that is square root of 3 times that value, it's going to give us a much lower value, and thus it's going to have less influence on this probability of error. And so, yeah, as an approximation, usually it's reasonable to use the nearest neighbor approximation to come up with a quick expression for the probability of error.